Hey, this is Paul, and today we're going to share seven tips that we use to help determine if our dragon fruit are ripe. So tip number one is you need to know your variety and your species. So believe it or not, some of our dragon fruit varieties take seven months to ripen, like Sairong's Orange Dragon, Diego's Desert King. And in this case, like this one, Cotton Candy, it's been on here for around 40 days and it's still not ripe. It's starting to turn this yellow color. It's got a little bit of wiggle, but it's not ready yet. So coming around here, it looks like I have one that's almost ripe here. Look at the difference in color, this little one little looser so it's starting to turn color. So still, tip number one is know your species variety. Tip number two, we're starting to talk about it, is the color. Like look at this beautiful fruit over here. This is Leo's eBay self-fertile, it's a Guatemalensis, and it was almost yellow yesterday and look at it today. So the color, you can see that there's a little bit of green here, still a little bit too much. I'm gonna give this one more day just off of looking at the color alone. Now the third tip is gonna be looking at the cone. And we learned this from Wallace Ranch, is you want to look in the cone because it will tend to split there first. So if you see a tiny little crack there, you know that you want to pick it because within a day or two, it could split half, so the fruit could split in half. And then you start to get ants in there and it's going to ruin this fruit that you work so hard on. So the tip number two is your color. Tip number three is your cone. And tip number four, it is the wiggle test. So look at this beautiful fruit here. This is off of Leo Manuel's 4S. And this fruit's been in the shade here, so the color's a bit greener. But look at the wiggle test. It goes up and down easily and side to side. So I would say I could pick this one today, or definitely I want to pick this by tomorrow. So that is the wiggle test in a nutshell, another indicator. You want to use all of these and the more you see together, the more likely your fruit is going to be ripe. So tip number five now is going to be what Scott calls the squeeze test, right Scott? And that's where you squeeze it and it's got a little bit of give. You kind of, you talked about it being a steak, right Scott? Maybe like a really well done like steak. Like a well done steak, <laughs> like it's, it's not super dense like a green fruit, right? This is very, very dense has little give but this one it's almost to me it's like walking on like a squishy kind of uh oh sit floor or something so to me that's kind of how i describe it but i would definitely say this one is definitely ripe okay so tip number seven is the weather and the climate and the forecast so right now if you can tell we're really sweaty the humidity's up the temperature's up so that means that the chance of your flower or your fruit excuse me is going to split especially if you have a lot of water and moisture in the air. So I have a fruit up here that I think it looks a little green, but I think it has almost all the signs. Let's check it out. This is Benoit Red. And look at it, it's always in the shade, so the color is gonna be, be a little bit of a le less important factor. It's gonna be, in other words, it's gonna be greener because it gets a lot of shade. So first tip, it's got the right species, right? It's a Guatemalensis, it's been on here for about a month. Second tip, I'm looking at the cone, I see a little split. The color has a dynamic color. Again, it's a little green. And then the wiggle test, up, down, left, right. Okay, I feel like the climate, if I wait too long, this thing's probably gonna split, especially off that cone. And then Scott squeeze test. And look at that, it feels kind of like a well done steak. <laughs> so I would say this one definitely passed the test. I always clean my shears. I recommend doing that with CVX everywhere. So I use a spray. And boom, this beauty is ready to go in the fridge for a few hours, and I'm going to enjoy this tonight. So there you go. I hope the tips help you. Those are our seven tips to pick a ripe dragon fruit. Give us a like, subscribe. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. <laughs>